Long coats are hard. If you're shorter like me, I'm 5'2", but they are essential. Where I live, I live in northern New Jersey, we got lots of snow, and they can look very stylish. After years of trial and error, here is my best tips how to wear longer coats if you are short. The number one tip is to keep it narrow. Whenever your coats are longer, you always want to make sure it's long and lean and you don't want it to be long and wide. Even though the trend is oversized everything, I'm somebody who is petite, you're going to be overwhelmed if your coats are both long and they're wide. So that means some of the designs that naturally are wider, for example, double-breasted coats, which is very popular, these are going to be even harder if you are shorter. But you can make it work, you just need to be more selective. Whenever you are wearing anything double-breasted, you want to keep the underlayer really simple. Ideally, you want to go with something monochromatic. That means your top and the bottom underneath is the same color, and that's going to create one vertical line. And that's going to counterbalance because your coats are going to expand you horizontally. Long coats are hard, but what I found even harder are longer puffer coats because, well, they're puffy. So whenever I'm wearing a longer puffer coat, I need to make sure it cinches the waist. This is super important. If it comes with a belt, that is ideal because that defines your waist. A little bit of waist cinching goes a long way. It really can make you look way much slimmer. And this one is from my clothing line for women 5, 4, and under. Go to PetitDressing.com today and use code PETIT15 for 15% off your first order. Now, let's talk about the belt for a second because this is something I recently just discovered. Your belt needs to be at the right position. And what is the right position for you? It should be parallel or above the position of your elbows. And why is it so important? Because that position is the narrowest part of your torso and you want the eye to be focused on this point. If the belt is positioned lower, for example, if I move this belt down about an inch, it doesn't sound like much, but immediately the eye is going to perceive a different proportion and your legs are going to look shorter. And here is a styling formula I recently just discovered and this works with any long coats in your closet and that is keep your bottom short. What I mean by that is shorts, skirts, or mini skirts. Any of this can work, and ideally you want to pair them with tall boots. The reason longer coats can make you look frumpy is because of the extra fabrics, and the longer hemline can make you look bottom heavy, and this formula does exactly the reverse because it keeps your bottom light. Whenever your coat is longer, you also want to make sure your bottom stays narrow. I know right now the biggest trend is white leg everything. White leg jeans, white leg pants, and skinny jeans is on the way out. But the thing is, anything white leg, it's very hard to look good with longer coats because your coat already got a big wide opening. And if you add white leg pants underneath that, you're going to show two massive horizontal lines on your body and that's why it's unflattering for most people. But if you do love white leg pants in the winter, well, the way to make them look better with a longer layering piece is to make sure you are wearing heels, especially pointed toe heels. Because what they do is they balance out the white leg opening and that's why they can make your outfit look more clean, especially if your coat is already a longer length. And the one thing you don't want to do is to pair white leg jeans or pants with your sneakers and then pair that with a longer coat. I know this might be a very trendy way to dress, but on somebody who's short, it's not gonna work. But don't get me wrong, I'm not saying sneakers don't go with longer coats. You can make them work, but you want to pair sneakers with straight leg jeans and then you wear that under a longer coat. You just don't want a combination of white leg jeans and sneakers and longer coat. Because sneakers carry so much weight in its own. You probably have noticed, but nobody else is talking about the neckline pairing. This is very important because a lot of longer coats come with faux fur, decorative notch colors, or anything, and that can make your neckline more complicated. So you're gonna need a neckline that is minimalist underneath. And the one neckline that I noticed goes with all of my long coats are the turtleneck. 
because they're so simple. But that's not all. If you're wearing any longer coats that's heavyweight fabrics, for example, wool, cashmere combination, or anything that's puffy, Wearing a turtleneck also matches the volume of your fabrics. Not only it keeps you warmer, but also overall looks more balanced. But I understand not everybody's a big fan of turtleneck. For example, my skin is pretty sensitive. If I wear a high neckline, especially made of wool or cashmere for a long time, it starts to get irritated. So if that is you, you can go with a lower version, like the mock neckline, which is a huge trend, and it can serve the same purpose. Here's a question that probably every petite girl has wondered about at one point in her life. What is the best length of long coats for a short girl? If you open my closet, you're gonna see most of my coats are the mid length. They are somewhere on the calf, not too long, but they are longer than the knee. These are the type of coats that's easiest to pair with pants or jeans. If you're somebody who commute, this is probably the best length for you. But if you're somebody who has a lot of skirts and dresses, even in the winter, you like to wear dresses and skirts, then I have to say, go longer than that. You want to go as long as you can handle. As long as you're not overwhelmed by the longer coats, the longer they are, the easier they are to style. Because when you're wearing skirts and dresses, you want them to be under your coat. You want your coat to be the longest piece of your entire silhouette. And that's why when your coat is a maxi length, when it's almost reaching your ankle, that is the length that is the most versatile. If you can only invest in one piece of expensive long coat when that is the length that you should go for. At this point, you probably are wondering, well, gee, there's so much I need to know before I put something on myself if I'm petite. That's absolutely right. I realized that a long time ago. For that reason, I also started my own clothing line dedicated to women 5'4 and under because our frame is shorter. So everything you wear, you gotta be more selective. If you haven't yet, check out my clothing line at petitedressing.com for women just like you.